So tell me exactly. I know. Yeah, tell me exactly what happened. What did you guys post that set off the Twitter overlords? So this was a post from like weeks ago, but it got the attention of some rabid leftists, and uh, they, you know, it, it it circled around their groups. And um, I'm sure that they instruct their followers to mass report it. So today, this this just happened like an hour ago. But um, I opened uh, – first, I got an email that said that the account had been locked. So basically, the tweet was just saying uh, how damaged people damage people and um, that, you know, these, these radicals within the alphabet cult really is what it is. Um, need to need to stay away from children. That was essentially the the gist of the tweet. Mm-hmm. Um, it had it was a quote tweet to one of our members, um, Mike Harlow. He had tweeted about I forget his name, Jeffrey Marsh. It is. Um, he's like that super popular um, person on TikTok that's like gone viral on TikTok. Who basically all of his videos are indoctrinating children. They're d- directly geared towards children. He mentions like parents leave the room. I want to talk to the kids, stuff like that, and like all of his videos. And it's and so he's like a a, a number like very top top groomer um, on social media. But the thing is, is that his face was blurred out in the tweet. I never called out his name. Neither did Mike. His his face was blurred out. So I wasn't intentionally calling out him. And even if I was, like, are we not allowed to speak? Like, are gay people not allowed to criticize other gay people? You know, it's it's just it's just absurd. Like, Twitter, big tech is now silencing the voices of gay people who are trying to come out and say, no, we actually oppose what, like, you know, Woke Inc. is trying to push here on the kids. So they, Twitter, they, they've basically taken the position that they're protecting, you know, predators over – uh, just being gay, like we're we're being persecuted while they're being protected. So here's something I I, I got to ask because this seems to be the new thing. Everybody can't ignore the impact a Twitter account has. Can't ignore the impact a Facebook account has. And it seems more and more often there's people who go, "Well, I'm not deleting the tweet," or "I am deleting the tweet." And usually everybody caves and ends up deleting the tweet because they know they have other messages to get out. Your messaging is so important. Are you guys going to delete the tweet if they reject all your appeals and such, so you can still be on the platform? Or are you saying, "Hey, this is an opportunity to switch to something else"? Yeah, no, I actually, it didn't even give me an op- like an option to appeal, but I deleted it right away because it's like, I understand like Jordan Peterson, you know, he's, he's big enough where he can like make a statement with that, mm-hmm. you know, but we are just getting started. We're not even two months old and we've grown to over 50,000 followers on Twitter in a really short amount of time. And so no, like having access to all those people and having our message spread through Twitter is more important to us than, you know, that one tweet, which I hadn't even, I didn't even remember. Like, sure. that, you know, it was a, a while ago now. Sure. So I deleted it right away. But I mean, this, this adds as a, this, this counts as like a, a strike on our account, which we've gotten one before, like two days after I, I created the account. I don't remember what that was for anymore, but <laughs> I don't know how many we're allowed to get bef- before they permanently ban us. But you know, well, I'll tell you what, we're not I'll, even two months old. And we've got two. Yeah. I'll let you know when I find out, because and I'll tell you something else. People tell me all the time. If you're taking flack, it means you're over the target, Jamie. What are the other platforms oh, and places they can find you until your Twitter account is restored? Yeah, for sure. If you go to just gaze against groomers dot com, mm-hmm. we have all of our social links right there. Instagram is our other uh, is our biggest one, um, which is just gaze against groomers. But, yeah, everything's on our site, right? When you go to the site, it's like the first thing you'll see, all of our social links. Jamie and Michelle, thank but, you um, so much for joining us, keeping us updated on this. You got my phone number. You got my email. You know how to get a hold of me. So please keep me updated sure on do. this. Okay? All right. All right, Jamie. Yeah, thanks, thanks so for having me to talk about this. Looking Have forward to nice. having you back Bye. on Twitter as well. Thanks so much for joining us today. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. We got no freedom of speech left at all. You can't say anything online without the Twitter overlords or the Facebook overlords or whoever it is censoring it. And in this case, I mean, all these guys are doing is cautioning people against people who are preying on your children. And you should be asking, why is Twitter defending the people who are preying on your children?